Hello there guys, I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day. My name is Mikey and we are about to check out what is going on with the upcoming games on the Nintendo Direct livestream reveal. How the devil are you guys? Live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. I've changed the title. Ooh. Yo, is it just diving straight in? What is this? Is this Monster Hunter? It's a bit dark. Rathalos. It is Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I thought for a minute it had a Monster Hunter vibe, and then I thought I was wrong. I thought it was getting a little bit too Dark Soulsy, but maybe that's the whole point. Yo, I'm interested. You have my attention. So, who's got a Switch and who's excited for this? That's Nintendo's main moneymaker, right? Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hi. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although right. not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. So this is an add-on. This is like an update for Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter Rise, Rise Sunbreak. Sunbreak. It's scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. <laughs> okay, guys, you're going to have to come hunting with me. information in the future. Because I've still got my All Monster right. Hunter Rise Let's save on my Switch. Let's see batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. And uh, I haven't played it a huge amount. I'm still like a level Party during two the or day, three rank hunter. Or at night. It's almost time to party in the Mario Party Superstar. You're gonna get game. one for Christmas. Ooh. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Kitty, I thought you Take were gonna a get a new CPU. Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. It's gonna be like a whole new game. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's tropical Like Iceborne island. for world. Toadette's got the star, mm -hmm. but she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Party day and night in Horrorland. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame only courses. Mario Party on the N64 was a riot. Win streak in survival. N64 Mario Party was brilliant. In the, cooperative multiplayer tag match. the problem is, is Mount that Minigame these guys, seven as far available. as I'm aware, they All never lower the price. Like to buy this, it's going to be like £60. And it's just like, if you've got a big family or you've got friends who are always playing it, it's worth it. Mario but Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo If I pay Switch 60 quid for this 29th. and I play it five times on stream, I'm just gonna Nintendo be like <gasps> Yo yo, if you guys still got Mario Kart, yo, we haven't played Mario Kart in ages. I love Welcome RPGs. Voice of cards. Oh, that's beautiful. the queen's behest you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune who does their Everything character in this art realm is represented as cards from the protagonists to shops towns and environments in this fresh take on tabletop rpgs you'll square off in turn-based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor I'm not, sure if, I'm not sure if this gameplay would do it for me. 
and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. Character designer Kimihiko Fujisaka. One sec. Voice of Cards. The Isle Dragon Roars launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Yep, that artwork is incredible. Become a hero or yep. an absolute disaster of a human being. I just had to look her up real quick. I'm gonna follow her on you Twitter if I can. In a hotel room in the city of Revachol, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium: The Final Cut. Oh. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Oh, this looks awesome. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the game will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'm, Uncover I'm more curious stories about that one. in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I can't find Kimihiko Fujisaka's official anything. Even when I'm Googling her for art station, it's just bringing up people who've done pieces based on her work. Oh, she works on Drakengard. And about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, oh, I love looks a strong pretty nose. good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm you. You Oh, Kid Luton, do you reckon they're going to remake Wind Waker? No. That game is amazing. Put it on the list. The narrative is fantastic. Oh, Jimmy, you're already familiar with it. Has it already come out on another platform? Yeah, I'll add it. Behold our power. Take that. Okay, uh, we're still playing. Uh, we're still playing Breath of the Wild. I don't have time for any of this hyper battle stuff. It's a little bit too mind bending for me. But uh, I'll make Breath. Oh wait, we need to pick that. Got that switch. Our switch is getting dusty. Ready, set, chocobo! Start your engines and get set for a new racing experience. Race as familiar Final Fantasy characters like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first across the finish line. Edge out the competition by using Drift Boost to cut corners. Magical stones called Magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. And and why do I want to play this instead of Mario Kart? Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. Engine customization options will be available. Oh, it's as well oh my as local and online multiplayer. I was about to pause it. It's literally Mario Kart. It's a, they've just reskinned Mario Kart. Up to six like every part of the menu option is Mario Kart. I see, I see. The racing champion. I'm not, by the way, I'm not bitching about it. I'm not complaining. GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. But it's not like they've built a new racing game. They've literally what taken Mario Kart and changed the assets. Before we show you hey, our Myers. next How are you? Hey, Cal. We have some news about the last fighter. Yeah, I've the never Super seen a game Smash like that Brothers at all. Ultimate game. That racing game looks so unique. I'm down. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Ms. Presents Myers. video. Ms. Myers, you... October 5th. Little Miss Last Place giving me lip. Ms. Myers, you're worse than Great White Kitty. This fighter, so please she wasn't even playing half the time. It's been about Love three you, Ms. Myers. years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. Oh, are they not making any more Super Smash updates now, after this? Please take a look at this. There's no more Smash updates anymore.
The Last of Us. No, mate. That's the wrong thing. The last DLC. There's about 95 characters. Oh my god, really? Is it too late for me to care about Smash Bros? I never ever played it. And I feel like um, I've missed the boat. And also, I've got other stuff to do. Unless I'm missing something really important. It's little Kirby at the end of time. Good friend. Kirby and the spore zombies. I've never I've never really considered a post apocalyptic adorable before. It feels like clashing themes. Kirby is the boy. He's like Tony. going to play this is because I still haven't even unwrapped all of our Mario games to play on the Switch. We've got the three old school ones, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario something, maybe World. Then we've got Mario 3D, Mario where he's Super Saiyan, Mario where he throws the hat, Mario Galaxy. We've got a lot of Mario games to that was the trailer do our Mario Fon. Land. Mario Fon. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Really, Daniel? What? Next, we have this to show you. is great, but no people and I can enjoy my piece. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I just never really thought about the post-apocalyptic in a setting of a bright, fun Kirby game. Oh, this is that island game. Adventure Island, Lonely Island. Love Island. Animal Crossing. So is New Horizons a new game or is this an expansion? Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been we enjoyed will great, White by Kitty. many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. You didn't have to switch for lockdown. In preparation oh, for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. Lockdown in must it, have... We'll uh, go over the content in more detail. Lockdown must have bumped up Nintendo's stock so much. Please be Getting on the switches was impossible. The of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Four! More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Nice shot. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Oh, do you have to run to your next location when you Take play this? Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. That's interesting. I didn't realize that was part of the uh, in-game mechanic. Two forces are also being added. Rooster's coming. These additions will come swinging in. Kirby the as lawyer a free game as we know it. Later today. Kirby the lawyer set impacted this? gamers' lives. An invitation. What's this? 
You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Spend time with Disney friends. Craft your own whimsical costumes. I can't deal with stuff like this. And explore delightful Disney themed worlds. Uh, this All is a, downloadable content like Kingdom Hearts. The original Nintendo 3DS version is included. I've never tried Disney Kingdom Magical Hearts, but I know that I just would not be able to deal with it. <laughs> onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. <gasps> a beloved Ooh. Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets and join forces with Jedi, droids, and outcasts in this blend of action, role playing, and adventure. So, will you use the force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? So, Knights of the Old Your Republic is coming the to the Switch. In Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. But they are pre-orders begin today. They're remaking it anyway. Shop. They're remaking Kotor, right? Never tried Kingdom Hearts. Unfollow. Yeah, remember. I'm a virgin. Stay human. Knights of the Old Republic is getting completely this remade for fresh, city. right? Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. Game Explore uses cloud alone. streaming technology. With up to three other players you need high speed internet. As you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then right. plunder the layers of the infected so none of this is on the switch decisions will shape the you, story you use the switch to play it but none of this game is being no matter where you're rendered and handled by you, the switch there's one thing you must always remember stay human while you're at it take the prequel on the go in dying light <laughs> scavenge for supplies craft weapons and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world dying light to stay Cloud version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. Is it Ghost Runner 2.0? Also launched the same no. day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. So I'm assuming I'm right in thinking. No, Utility, I'll play it on the PlayStation morality, over PC. Or Liberty. Ooh. In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. My apologies. Stunning. High-definition two-dimension. changes based on the decisions you make. In the end, where will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I It's okay to be inexperienced. Thank you, Jim. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, Camera angle controls. The ability to review previous dialogue. And streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Do you reckon that's a marketing gimmick? Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Do you reckon that's a gimmick? March 4th, Do you reckon those are simply features of the game? Pre -orders and like any other game, Nintendo e they could just say, look at what this game could do. But instead, they've taken those features that they were always working on and they've already built into the system. And they're making out it's all a feedback thing instead to change the public's reaction to the game's publishing you process. With overwhelming power, your highest priority should be simply to survive. Oh, this looks hella smooth, doesn't it? Yo, do you reckon this is worth trying? There may be a very small opportunity to escape. You saved gaming from a massive down. copyright laws from King Kong. The movie versus Donkey Kong. Oh, there's like a math there was a massive real money thing in the background happening, Matt. Did that game just rip off Queen Amidala? I love the of no confidence. Metroid fans are really hyped for this, yeah? That cast is in. That cast needs it. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy. There, now we know. On a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. 
Is it procedurally generated? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. The mighty Chorizo. Metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Thank you, dismissive Be sure lady. To view the other Metroid Dread reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Ooh, that's Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Has Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Has there been another Metroid game released quite recently within the last couple that? years? Wasn't there another Metroid as well, or is this Up the only next, one? We have news about Nintendo Switch Online. <laughs> Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September yeah, let's 2018. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's get some merch going. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. Multiple linear environments. HD 2D. plans content. Man, I've still got that on my N64. It's on my shelf back there. of Nintendo 64 games. Original Zelda never left me. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I think this <gasps> Lilac gave Wars. Many players their first 3D gaming experiences. May I used to as bang well out Lilac Wars. Four-player multiplayer action. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Also, with this new membership plan, oh no, Golden Eye, no Golden Eye. All the good N64 games. You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. <laughs> this means you'll be able to play these classic games whenever and wherever you oh, like. I fucking hated Echo the Dolphin. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership. As so, well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. So what's the membership like for Switch Nintendo Online? Switch Online plus expansion pack. Do you have to pay monthly for that? This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Teddies, I've heard similar. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. Mm. I like for the now, idea of having my N64 like games, games on the Switch, will be available but not launches. enough to pay for a massive emulation. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 games shown here. No, Star Fox, Star Fox, Mario and Mario as Kart, well yes. these Genesis games. Mate, no Sonic 3 with the Sonic and Knuckles we'll plug-in. We'll continue adding more Nintendo 64 games, out. such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. No, so obviously Rare have the license um, for that one, because that's obviously the Rare Studio. Furthermore, but they did a uh, GoldenEye and Perfect and Dark were fucking amazing. Sure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Both can Wait, be what? used wirelessly. Ooh, they're... These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch online member. Oh! We hope you'll look forward I can get to the new membership plan. Yo, so I've I've got Nintendo on the Switch, Switch I've got the Mario All Stars expansion. pack. That's for one with Mario 64. Let's see and the a others? few more Nintendo Switch headlines. I can get a, a wireless N64 Switch controller to play original. There's plenty to play in these collections. Oh, yeah. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Oh, these are on our to-do list. They were on our cyberpunk need-to-play thing. I'm, I'm on look at this. 
and so grouping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy. Oh, I have Launching to join up Nintendo for membership in order to be able to buy one of those controllers. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula continues. We need a gear list. Castlevania Advanced Collection. What, just for cool shit? Just for cool shit in general, Eva? With deathly like, beautiful graphics awesome controllers, epic music. figurines, gunpla. Quick save and button mapping features will also vamp up mm. or ramp up your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, I'll make one and I'll, I'll include any Amazon wishlist links. Launches on Nintendo Switch later today. An almighty classic returns. Yo, we still need to play Castlevania. I'm going to play it on a PlayStation. The classic Super NES game Act Razor returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Light and Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. Oh. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. Ooh. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. That's fascinating. New stages and new boss battles also await. Because I've heard of Act Razor, I've never Act seen Razor it. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later today. But I've I remember hearing about that game. Kid Ludens, is it new worth playing? New chapter is about to unfold. Remaster. We forgot how to make good games, so have it again. Have the same game again because we can't capture it anymore. Remasters are basically something along the lines of, twenty years ago, you guys were probably young enough to love this. Except now you're probably earning your own income, so we've remastered it. Is this that game you guys are on about all the time? Or is this a game in the style of that game you guys are on about? Deltarune? Undertale. Undertale is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, not played it yet. Rune Factory 5. This is the one that we saw on uh, um, the upcoming E3 games, wasn't it? How's everything? There Rune Factory 5 is the new one, and they were Nintendo redoing Direct. Rune Factory 4 or something? Oh, Miyamoto-san. <laughs> what brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We've previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer Chris Melodandri-san, who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big Me screen. Is here. Today, I want to announce came on, theatrical like, You're fired. release timing. Back up. Ta-da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. You better be doing a Bob Hoskins so impression. Cool. 
Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. He's so cool. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. This is weird. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. <laughs> I'm I am morbidly fascinated. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I am I'm morbidly a fascinated by Jackson as Charlie <laughs> Luigi. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. Look, for all these guys are just like, well, Even you want to give me a paycheck? A sure. Movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. What? I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. Oh my God. Who is the and casting course, director? Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. Hey, paychecks all round. Paychecks all round, isn't it? That is it? all I can share with you today that about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been that coming casting up with doesn't make me feel confident ideas, at all. And I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. He did a... Uh... Oh! I won't begin, I will give in till I'm victorious. World of motion pictures. You're a mate. We'd like Tranquil. to show you this. Tranquil's just dropped five gift subs. Dude, thank you so much. Good evening, Tranquil. How are you? Noob, noob Zors, Naive Steve, Stinkle McTinkles, Khan VFX, and Badagast. You've all just been uh, given gift subs. But my boy Tranquil missed. He's a man. Yo, Tranquil, what's that for? Thank you, dude. Yeah, no Bob Hoskins. I wonder why. No, Charlie, that's Luigi work. You don't do that, Mario. That's, that's Luigi work. Is this game good, Mom? Tranquil, yo, how you doing, man? Good evening. Tranquil Mist, you handsome, handsome boy. -o. What's good of you, dude? We're watching the Nintendo Direct E3 vibe. Looks like they're kind of reaching back into a lot of their old IPs and, you know, shoving them forward again and again and again, forever and ever. But there's a few, there's a few very interesting gems in here. Oh, Mame, why is this what you like? I'm sick at home. I'm going to spread joy, not germs. Oh. Tranquil. Thank you very much, man. I fucking appreciate it. Yeah, this is this is nauseating to someone boring like me. I'm not young and hip. This even this background music. Anything that reminds me of playing Sonic on the Dreamcast makes me want to throw up. Anything that reminds me of that nauseating Sonic Adventure Dreamcast kind of feeling. I'm just like, ugh. No, you're okay. But I'm not hating on it. Obviously, Mom says it's a load of fun, and it's not really aimed at me. So, uh, yo, do your thing. Return of the Mammalians. Good. Good for them. Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. Oh, it's what you time. just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Yep. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. I don't think Splatoon, Splatoon is in someone like me. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long in I remember when Splatsville was all fields, and as a boy I'd run around. Buildings spanning several generations but now, no, are no. the city, creating its distinctive Life culture. gives way to industry. In Come friendly bombs and fall on slough. 
It's, it's not fit for humans now. Two four-player teams compete against each other to <laughs> the most Norman Reedus. However, the trend seems to have undergone. Let me tell you about a little combat painting sim called Splatoon. In the Hi. In the latter portion of I'm the footage, Norman Reedus. We were able to observe activities no, no, let's pay attention. Somebody might be wanting to watch this. Campaign. They're wrong, Return but they might be. of the mammalians. Meaning, the reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of story mode this time. I told her, have a bloody good evening. Dude, oh, how is, um, what could this possibly how is, oh, what, it, what was that game called? Way to go. Was it called Old cast, Evil? How was it, dude, by the way? But have a good evening. Ah, Great White Kitty has gifted a sub to Norman to Reedus. Kitty? But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Lucky Norman, huh? Lucky Please Norman Reedus has received a Split gift sub three. from Great White Kitty. You're a star. You're a very delicious star. <gasps> Miss Mumbles. Miss Mumbles, thank you for the bitties. How are you? See you next time. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled mm. to release in 2022. Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Ooh. Please take a look. Not actual gameplay. HQ、接てきた。距離5まで。最初は北東に向かって移動中。遅れ。こちら本部、了解した。撮影を開始。了解。投げ強い。撃て。再生者包容。撃て。HQ、最初は3つ。大から見られない。でかい。大から見られない。Yoshi's Island, Cold War. <laughs> They made another one. It seems I'm unfashionably late, but I'm ready to give you everything you want. Yo, how many Bayonetta games are there? Yo, we gotta do some fan art. Yo, your boy Mikey has been sleeping on some Bayonetta fan art. one so this isn't a remake or a remaster but like you know it's not ported this is a brand new game and it's just out on the switch pretty lady mm. she's got her hair back be free for the boyos old evil was ass it came out in July 2021. Come out, felt like 2002. No narrative, janky, no explanation. Beating enemies. You got it refunded. Yeah, I've never heard of it, dude. But yeah, get rid of that. 
good shout and refunding. Bayonetta. Is this a remake of the first game? Is this a remake or is this uh, the third one? What's going on? Oh, who's this? This is Bayonetta 3. What Yo, let's go. Let's the play the trilogy. Bayonetta 3. Oh, did I just we miss for number 3? In 2017, and we thank you for your patience. I must be blind. This game will launch next year. This guy's got the right idea. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. Good, I'll fit that in then, and early next year. Yeah, that's all for I often, I often Direct. associate Bayonetta with Devil May Cry. They Thank both seem watching. mental. Almost, almost like God of War as well. They're all those kind of mental games. Yo, guys, well, there was on Nintendo Direct. What did you guys think? Thank you very much for watching. I kind of got the feeling that they were pushing a number of old IPs simply because they didn't feel their catalogue was big enough. And when you bump up the old stuff to say you've got even more games, you can say our oh, amazing platform has hundreds and hundreds of games, whereas really it's got maybe 80 dedicated games and hundreds and hundreds of catalogue stuff. Uh, thank you for sidecasting for us. Thank you very much for the suggestion for putting it in my thing. Um, I thought this was thoroughly interesting. Uh, Bayonetta, yes. Um... Some of those RPGs, yes. That detective one, where you have to use a range of different skills like empathy and uh, aggression to discover something, looked like a strong yes. Splatoon, not aimed at me. Um, Hyrule Warriors, I can't play it because we're still playing uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, but some of the others did look interesting. Um, it looked more like Virgil, do you reckon? I don't even know who that is. So that might have been a Devil May Cry character at the end of Bayonetta 3. So basically what you guys are telling me, not only are we going to have to play the Bayonetta games uh, live on Twitch, we're also going to have to start with Devil May Cry 1 and go through the entire Devil May Cry series. Got it. Okay, you lovely people. Thank you very much for watching and joining along. Uh, make sure you've clicked like and subscribe and all of that business. And I'll see you next time. Take care.